Hello everyone, Rough Star here, and today I'm going to be going over the basics of how to install mods for No Man's Sky. It is quite simple, so this will be a short video. It will be broken up into three parts. Part 1 will cover where to get mods. Part 2 will cover how to install mods, both manually and using the mod manager Vortex. And part 3 will cover the number one reason why the mods you have installed aren't working. On screen, there should be timestamps for the three parts. I highly recommend you watch part three because if you're going to add even more than one mod, you will likely run into problems. So without further ado, let's hop right in. So in order to install mods, you first must find and download a mod you're interested in. There are many places online that host No Man's Sky mods. One such place being nomanskymods.com. However, I highly recommend using nexusmods.com. This is because they have a large and active modding community, support many games, not just No Man's Sky, have well-developed search features, such as sorting by most popular, most recently added, or by keywords, and most importantly, have the program Vortex, which is a mod manager that will, you guessed it, help you manage your mods across all games that support modding. However, Note that Nexus Mods does require an account to use. Once on Nexus Mods website, go to the search bar, select games and search for No Man's Sky. Select on it, and then you'll be presented with the game page. Navigate to the mod section. From here, select the popular 30 days tab. This is a great place to start searching for mods. Or you can go to the popular all time tab and simply start scrolling till something catches your eye. Also, if you already have something in mind, feel free to search it for it directly. All right, now that you have found a mod that you are interested in, installing it is a piece of cake. To manually install it, all you have to do is download it by clicking on manual and selecting the file you want to download, as you can see me doing here. Once it's downloaded, you can open its location. Next, you have to locate where your game is installed on your computer. If you installed it using Steam, it will likely be in a location similar to mine, as you can see on the screen. Once you have the game folder open, go into Game Data, then PC Banks. Once here, delete the text file called disablemods.txt. You will only ever have to do this step once. Finally, navigate into the folder labeled Mods. If you don't have a mods folder, don't worry. Just right click and create a new folder and name it mods. Finally, navigate in and paste your mod. As you can see, I already have quite a handful of mods installed. And that's it. Now all you have to do is launch the game the way you normally would and you'll see this mod warning pop up. And you will know that it has worked. The other way to install mods is to use Vortex. This is my recommended method when you first start out. First, go to the following link or Google Nexus Mods Vortex and select the first link. Click on the button, download the latest version. This will take you to the Vortex page. From here, select Download Manual in the top right corner and then on the new page, click Vortex Manual Download. I suggest you don't bother with the custom install location option. Once downloaded, open and run the program. When it opens, sync your account and the Vortex application using the button at the top and the browser tab it opened. Once completed, navigate back to Vortex and click on the Games tab and search for No Man's Sky. It should be highlighted. This is because Vortex has detected the installation location. You may notice the other highlighted games in this tab. These are other games that you have installed that Vortex supports modding. Select the No Man's Sky button and then navigate to the Mods tab. Here it will tell you that you have no mods installed, but it knows where you can get them. Lucky us. Click the link and it will take you to the Nexus Mods No Man's Sky mod page. From here, select a mod that you want and then click the Download Vortex button in the top right. Vortex will begin downloading it for you. Once completed, in Vortex, click the Never Installed button, and then click it again when it changes to Disabled. 
to enable it. Now your mod is installed and you're ready to play. You can launch No Man's Sky from Vortex, and upon loading, you will see the mod warning page, and that is how you will know it worked. There are two major problems you will likely encounter when you first start modding. The first is, the mod you download may not be compatible with the version of the game you are running. The easiest way to get around this when you first start is to only download mods on Nexus Mods that have a last updated date that is more recent than the last update of the game. So, for instance, don't download a mod that was last updated before Origins was released. The second problem you will run into is a bit more complicated. The way every mod works is by modifying a configuration file when the game loads up. However, if two different mods try to modify the same file, only the mod that modified it last will take effect. So, for instance, if you have two mods that both modify the inventory, they are almost certainly going to conflict, and only one of the mod's effect will be visible in-game. The mods are loaded in numerical, then alphabetical order, so whichever mod loads second will be the one that you see in-game. Now there is a way around this by building a patch pack, or by recompiling the mods together from their scripts. But this is far too advanced for this tutorial. If there is enough interest, I can make a separate video teaching how these two methods can be completed. For now, just avoid using two mods that edit the same files. On Nexus Mods, most mods show which files they modified somewhere in the description. So if you don't see a mod working that you expect, this is a great place to start troubleshooting. Well, that's all for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, feel free to give it a like. And if you are interested in No Man's Sky modding content, feel free to subscribe. I am currently doing a modded Let's Play and will be putting out more modded content in the near future. Well, take care. And remember, just because you had a rough start doesn't mean you should give up.